In this video, we are going to learn how to create multiple section views and section sheets. So in my screen, I have a corridor and I have sample lines and I have created a single section view here for reference. So before creating cross sections actually or section views, we need to create a template for cross sections or section views so to do that we need to go to application menu browser then we need to go here new and from here we will create a blank metric template since i am using uh, meters and millimeters in my as my units so i have opened a blank template here then i move on to one of my layout step then we have the layout here so i can if i like i can delete one layout tab then we have to define our paper size let us assume we are creating our section views in a3 sheet so i right click here then go to page setup manager then i modify my layout tab so that i get a a3 sheet if you need we can, you can set the plot style as well but i am not going to do that in this moment so i click ok and click close now this will become a a3 sheet eventually so then what i do is i will create a border around this a3 sheet so to do that i go to home tab and go to rectangle here for the starting point i will type 0 comma 0 comma 0 to get the origin then i go to dimensions from here then i will type the dimensions of a3 sheet the length is 420 and the width is 297 i will go this side and i will click here not pressing enter i'll click here so you will see my rectangle has drawn so this is our page border so for the sheet border we should have some uh, reduced parameters so to get the sheet border i will offset 10 millimeters inside from the page border so this is our page border so in the inside this page we should have our cross section or section view so this is this layout represent the cross section or cross section sheet so i will increase this area of the viewport here this is the viewport we are going to insert into the section view so we will leave some additional area here for the uh, drawing cages some like your name and your date plot date your details of contractor uh, consultant and other parameters we will have some area or otherwise you can some have some area on the bottom side also so then you have to select this one this viewport right click and go to properties then here for the viewport type you should select section right then press escape now this is becoming a section the next problem is what is the scale we are using to create the section views so that is a uh, integral part or that is a very vital part when we are creating a section view so to identify the scale we have to go to the civil 3d drawing which contains the sample lines then select a sample line and go to group properties there check what is the maximum length of your sample line to the left and to the right so you can see all the sample line offsets are 20 meters either side in this in that case we have all equal size sample lines so to the left we have 20 meters to the right we have 20 meters all together we have 40 meters so when you create when you create the section view you should have at least 40 meters to display the data then apart from that you should have another area to represent this title box so it is around 25 millimeter here so in this case we have to show 25 millimeter plus earlier it was 40 millimeter in in case of a uh, one is a thousand scale so it is 40 plus 25 then it is 65 
so we have to have some additional buffer area because we cannot uh, inst uh, put all the section view very tightly inside the box so we should have another let us see 5 meters to this side and 5 meters to this side in other words 5 millimeter side side so uh, 65 plus 5 meters either side means 75 millimeters so otherwise 75 meters you have to represent inside this box you have to represent 75 meters inside this box so we will see what is the length here this is 325.21 so in other words it's around 325 millimeters or 0.325 make this value on your mind so i click cancel then i go to quick calc quick calc on the command line so what we need is we need to show 75 meters within 325 millimeters 75 divided by 0.325 it will give you the scale you need this means you have to select at least 1 is to 230 scale instead of that one we will select uh, 100 uh, 1 is to 2200 or 1 is to 250 either side, side you can select because you have some additional buffer space so let us say we are going to select 250 here so now you have to set this scale right click the viewport and set the scale to 1 is to 250 currently this is not in the scale list 250 so you have to define that one so you need to go select this one and go here currently this scale is not here we go to custom now since if you don't have any idea about the scaling you just edit one and see what happens there one is to thousand means one is to one so 1 is to 250 means 1 is to 0.25 so you go to add here 1 is to 250 and this should be 0.25 and click ok and click ok again then here set this to 1 is to 250 and click lock here then you can change the name here cs 1 is to 250 right so then we have to save this as a template but if you are doing it this professionally you have to set set various layer thicknesses and you have to set this title block everything but i am just demonstrating the things so i just save this as a template i go here and save as save as drawing template here I will have a sample CS, yes, I will overwrite it. And in your case, you can create a new one. I, I will overwrite my sample and I say overwrite it. And you can type a name here if you want to. And we save it. So we have created the sample CS template to create the section views. Now I close this one. Now we are going to create section views here so first of all we will change the scale where we get the scale we need for the cross sections or section views we set it to 250 so if you don't have 250 you know how to make a 250 here so then you go to home tab and go to section views and create multiple views now you can by default you can set your parameters uh the way you like so then you go to click next there you have to select the plan product sorry section view template so here you have to go to the template file location and select this sample cs and click open so you have cs 150 so this will not populate if you haven't set the viewport to section so if you can if you can remember you have to go to 
uh, section viewport and the viewport and right click go to properties and select the uh, viewport type to section unless you have selected it to section you cannot see this notation here so we'll click ok and i'll click next next again next again so i am going to select this one and create section views and for the section view origin i will select somewhere somewhere here so now you can see my section views are plotted inside this uh, sheet now you can see one section view per, per sheet so if you need you can modify this so that you can uh, view it clearly uh, so in in my case in my earlier videos i have a separate video how to uh, position this section view inside this viewport so you can uh, watch that to get a, a clear idea about the uh, positioning of the section view inside the viewport so now we have created the section views on the model drawing then we will go we are going to create them in, as sheets so to do that we go to output then go to create sheets then you have your data here and you can set a layout name if you like so currently it is set as a section sheet with a number so i'll go to we have a sheet set as well so i go to create sheet so it will uh, save the drawing while on the process it will save the drawing now you can see my section sheets are created i will close this one so you can see here how my section sheets are created section sheets are created here so now the next thing is we have to uh, plot these things in a pdf right so before doing that i will delete these existing sheets so that i don't have uh, problems when plotting then i need to define a plot style so i click here go to plot so i will define a plot style as a cad we will be doing a colored output so we will see how the things looking like so this is how your print output will be given so i click escape and i will add this as setup one let us say cs and click ok and i will cancel it this time so then right click here and go to select all layouts and right click here and go to publish selected layouts so you can do this publish select publish this data to pdf in the sheet sets as well but i am uh, going to teach you this way so then you have to select all these sheets so you can use control a to select all then you have to go to this page setup and select this setup one cs we just created and then you have to publish it so once you publish it it will plot all the sections we use into a pdf so i recommend uh, it is better to publish this by exporting this to autocad rather than going with civil 3d publish because if you are going to publish this with civil 3d it will take whole lot of time to publish so since it will get whole lot of time i will delete most of the parts here i will select only five section views and i will remove the other parts so i will just only pub publish five sheets uh, but if you have so many sheets i recommend export this drawing to a autocad version and do the publishing that is better and that is fast so i click publish here 
and it is asking for a location i will select i will save it in the section uh, documents folder and i am not going to save the current sheet list so after some time it will plot all the uh, section views in in this case it will plot five section views so as i told you earlier if you use the autocad version of this copy it will be very fast when plotting so now you can see my cross sections are plotted inside the viewport and if you use this to everyone every sheet it will populate and print in one uh, pdf set so i am just i am showing this as a sample you can modify this you can uh, change this location you can add details to this before plotting so i am just giving you the oh, i am just telling you the way how to do it so that is how to create section views and section sheet and plot the section views to a pdf in civil 3d